Very simple, really. We look at the S&P 500 and its 200-day moving average. The long-term trend line. The long-term trend line for the market. It's sort of the highway for the market. Yep. And what we saw in the last year, which is not unusual, is that when the market gets to be 8 or 9% above that 200-day moving average, it starts to converge with the 200-day moving average. So you get resistance, ah. you start to get some selling, and they came together twice last year when this happened. So. So just so uh, the viewers understand, there it is, the white line, the S&P 500, real simple. The yellow line, that 200-day moving average, the long-term trend line. And to your point, when it gets overextended, and we can show that with the three red circles, oh, isn't that interesting? It tended to correct. Right. So I actually had a conversation with Chris Verone, who is a technician over at Strategus. And we, we quote him. We have him as on the show almost as often as we have you, Howard Ward. Right. Well... You should have him more than me, but uh, I asked him, I talked to him about this, and he said that he had studied this, and there, there have been periods, and I believe that he quoted the period from 95 to 98, yes. where there was a full three years where the market stayed above the 200-day moving average. It never did converge. So that makes us a little bit trickier. We can't look at this and say... But here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, to your point, when, and, and those red circles show this, when it gets 8 or 9% above you got an issue, but for that longer 90, uh, 95 to 98, it wasn't 8 to 9% the whole time, it was less, 3, yeah. 4, 5%. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally believe that when you see this sort of a situation, you should be expecting the market to cool off and you're going to get some resistance. And, you know, let's say that you've been out of the market for the last four years and it's gone up 130%. Right. Do you really feel like you have to jump in now? Right. When the Dow's at an all-time high? So pick your points carefully here. Maybe wait and see if things cool off a little bit. So are, if, I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly, are you saying we might be due for a little bit of a correction, a, a move back to I that longer-term trend line yeah, before I, we I go think higher? You, I think you have to expect that the market isn't going to go straight up. Sure. We've had a tremendous run since mid-November, and, and now I think we're gonna, it's going to get a little bit more difficult.